YouTube friends. I'm Heidi from Healing Harvest Homestead and I'm really excited, sort of. <laughs> Today I'm going to show you how to make some handmade lotion. Um, I'm excited because I'm showing you how to make lotion. Uh, I'm not excited because I ran out. And <clears throat> I just want to show you this because it's super, super easy. Low handmade lotion makes a fabulous gift for your friends or your family or for yourself and um, it's way healthier than the lotions that you buy in the store that are filled with toxins. On top of that, it's cheap. It's super inexpensive to make. I'm going to go ahead and show you how I'm doing it here and then I'm going to give you some options for uh, different things you can use too to save you even more money. But I think you're going to love this recipe for homemade lotion. Um, so first off, uh, homemade lotion, by the way, please subscribe if, you, if you're liking my videos. Um, okay, so homemade lotion takes three different um, phases, all right? Um, you've got your oil phase, you've got a water phase, and you've got um, a cool down phase is what they call it. So in each phase, as you can guess, the oil phase contains your oils and your waxes and things like that. And then in your water phase, it's anything liquid. So if you're going to make magnesium oil lotion or aloe vera gel, you want that in it, or anything that's liquid, that's cool. that goes in your water phase. And of course, you can use just plain water, okay? And then in your cool down phase, this is when you add your essential oils and your preservatives if you're going to use them. <clears throat> and that's it. So let's go ahead and let's get this made. I've already measured out the recipe so that um, everything's ready to go for you, but I'm gonna just talk real fast about how, or show you real fast how I, I do this. So you're going to need a digital kitchen scale. It's a, well, you'll find that some recipes are measured in grams and some measure, are measured in ounces. Um, the recipe, recipe I'm using here is measured in ounces. So um, you wanna make sure that your kitchen scale is set to whatever measurement you're using. And then you go ahead and, and measure out or weigh your container. And then you wanna push the tear button. It's, it's spelled T-A-R-E. And when you do that, it zeroes out the scale even with your container sitting on top. And then you can go ahead and measure out your ingredients and get a very, very accurate, like to the a hundredth of an ounce, um, uh, measure and that's what you want you want to you know work on accuracy here so uh, with the oil phase <clears throat> you're going to want to measure out a half an ounce of your emulsifying wax and in this case I use this milliard emulsifying wax um, I can put a link below if you like um, to it so that if you want to get it, you can. It's not very expensive. And then uh, this is calendula infused olive oil, all right? Uh, now you can use almond oil, which is a little bit lighter for lotions, but I have this almond oil on hand that's infused with calendula and I love using that on my skin uh, because it's, oh, it just is so good for your skin. But um, if you don't have any herb infused oils, that's okay. You can use plain olive oil or plain almond oil. The measurement for your oil that you want is one and 62 hundredths of an ounce of oil. So 1.62 ounces of oil. And you put your oil phase together. So you can see here I've got my emulsifying wax and I've got my oil in a little um, eight ounce jelly jar. I'm gonna get a pan here. There's about an inch full of water in my pan. And I'm just gonna set my jar in there. I'm not putting water in it, I'm just setting the jar in the water. I'm making like a little double boiler. And then for the water phase, I could use regular water like I just said, and a lot of other different options, but I'm gonna go ahead and use this uh, certified organic rose hydrosol, and this is from Star West Botanicals. Um, oh my goodness. This smells so good. And um, I like to use this for the water phase because it provides a scent uh, to your lotion, a slight scent, it's not real strong. But in addition to that, um, rose, roses are so good for your skin. They calm and they soothe inflammation and uh, they just help the, the, supple t the suppleness of your skin. Um, they're, they're just wonderful. So you're gonna have a beautiful 
um, smelling lotion that's also good for your skin. So again, uh, this is four and 66 hundredths of an ounce of rose water. All right, so 4.66. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my water in there too. The reason I'm setting them both in here um, well, let me just talk about the oil face first. The reason you're, you're going to heat up your oil face in your double boiler is because you want the emulsifying wax to melt completely into the oil. The reason you're going to go ahead and heat up your water phase along with it is because you want the two containers to be at approximately the same temperature. All right, they're not going to be exact, but they're going to be close enough. And here I've got my redneck. <laughs> this is our camp stove. Um, it's usually outside, but I brought it in here into the studio so I could um, show you this better. And uh, this is usually what I cook bone broth on and uh, render fats, tallow and lard and things like that. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to get that wax melted into the uh, oil. And then we're going to go ahead and I'll show you what to do after that. Okay. So my emulsifying wax has melted completely into my oil and my water is just fine too. Um, one thing I do too is if I'm making a lot of lotion, like if I'm doubling or tripling this recipe, I'll put a lid on the, on the water uh, jar while it's in the pan so it doesn't evaporate. Um, and so now I'm going to go ahead and talk to you about temperature. So you don't want well, first let me talk to you about your um, your preservative. This is Lucida Liquid SF. It's one of my favorites. It's on the more natural side. Um, you know, you can talk about natural preservatives all you want, but honestly, they're not super natural. In fact, some are really unnatural and terribly toxic for you, like the parabens. Um, Lucidal is made um, with natural things, um, so it's a little bit more on the natural scale. Some people choose not to use preservatives at all, and um, you know, if you're going to use your lotion up within a week or two, that's probably just fine. However, um, you know, there because it's got water in it, anything with water is going to grow bacteria and mold. So you want to be sure that you reduce the chances of that. If you're going to give your lotions away as a gift, and especially if you're going to sell your lotions, I suggest you use a preservative. Okay. Um, for this recipe, you want about a one and a half teaspoons full of preservative. I'm not super exact with my uh, preservatives, but you know, <laughs> that's what I do. Now, because this is going to be a rose water based lotion, I thought it would be fun to add some essential oils that are also good for your skin to enhance the rose scent. So what I chose was, um, I've got some geranium essential oil here. I used 35 drops of that, and I used about um, 15 drops of patchouli for a total of about 50 drops. And I've discovered that's a nice um, amount of essential oil to use for this particular recipe. I just poured my essential oils right into my, um, my preservative here. So it's waiting. And so now you can see here, I've got my three phases. I have got, you can see this, my oil phase. I've got, it's, it's already melted. I've got my water phase and I've got my cool down phase, which goes in when the temperatures are right. So I'm going to use my, um, this is a digital thermometer and it's pretty good about um, letting you know the, the temperature of something and the oil is at 146 degrees so that's a little on the hot side uh, i like to get my um my oils and my waters hovering right around 110 degrees the water is at 118 already um, i know a lot of lotion makers they'll get an ice bath and they'll go ahead and put their um their oils and their uh, waters together in an ice bath and mix that and that does tend to thicken it up and make it go a little faster. But so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and pour my oil and my water only into this bowl because the difference in temperatures um, is actually going to be okay. And I'm going to go ahead, set those aside, I grab my fork and I'm just gonna stir it and keep checking the temperature periodically. And when that temperature 
it's already down to 118. That's fabulous. <laughs> when that temperature gets down to a nice solid, you know, 110, uh, 90 degrees to 110, then I'm going to go ahead and add in my uh, preservative and my essential oils. So, um, alrighty. Let's talk about cost for a minute here. You know, you're. When I started making my own lotions, um, the oil was practically free, <laughs> pretty much. It's the cost of whatever the oil that you buy and whatever herbs you infuse in it. But you're not using very much. So, you know, I always have olive oil or almond oil on hand anyway. So um, pretty much that cost is minimal. The emulsifying wax, you're not using very much emulsifying wax. I, if I were to convert uh, a half an ounce, which is what I used for this recipe, of emulsifying wax to um, uh, a cost, honestly, I'm, it's pennies, okay? Because you're not using that much. And then the rose water, same thing. Um, I used about nearly two and a half ounces, or, oh, I'm sorry, I used a 4.66 or almost a little over four and a half ounces of, of my uh, rose water. And that's gonna be a, a little on the pricey side depending on the cost of your hydrosol. Um, and by the way, did you know you can make your own hydrosols too? <laughs> and uh, if you check my YouTube channel, I do have a video on how to do that right in your kitchen using uh, kitchen materials that you probably already have. Uh, no fancy equipment needed. I know a lot of people want to go out and buy a copper still and all that. You don't, you don't need it <laughs> to make a hydrosol. You can do it right inside your kitchen on top of your stove. Super easy. So um, I'll put a link below if you want to check that out. But um, if you purchase your hydrosols, you know, they're not that expensive depending on, on which kind of a floral you buy. Uh, the lucidal or the preservative can get a little bit pricey um, and that's honestly the biggest expense, which is another downfall to using a preservative. But um, I say that safety trumps um, the cost, okay? Now, for myself, I have no trouble uh, going without preservative. I use a lot of lotion on my skin, and so, uh, you know, and I'm out right now, and so I'm going to, I'll go through this pretty fast, but I'm actually going to give this, about half of it, to a friend down the street, and I don't know how fast she's going to use it, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that preservative in. Make sure we're okay here. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead and check the temperature. All right, we're down to 106. I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna keep stirring here until it gets down to about 100. All right, so I've been stirring for about 10 minutes or so, and it's starting to thicken up. Now, let I want and I did put it in an ice bath, <laughs> so, so you can see what that looks like. Basically, I just took a bowl that's slightly larger than the bowl that I've got the lotion in, and I put in some ice and it just kind of helps cool it down faster too. And the cooler it gets, the thicker it gets, and it's already starting to form peaks here, so it's getting uh, pretty thick. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about containers real fast. <clears throat> I've got these, uh, you can buy these plastic uh, amber um, squeeze top containers. Uh, I just got this one on Amazon. They come in sets of like six. They're not expensive. Now, I I generally don't like plastic. Um, I, in fact, I hate it. <laughs> so I do generally use glass. But because I'm going to give this lotion away, I'm going to go ahead and just put it in the plastic because it's easier to use, it's easier to shake, and um, it's just simpler for people. But normally I do not use plastic. Um, the other thing I like to use are these four ounce jelly jars. Uh, now, the problem with jelly jars is that you have to stick your hands in, in your lotion to get it out, to rub it on your skin, uh, which puts uh, bacteria and uh, fungi potentially inside your jar. Now, uh, the thing is though, is that if it's I'm just the only one using it, and I'm gonna use it fairly quickly, then I don't worry about it, especially if there's a preservative in it. I, I just, to me, it's like no big deal. But um, if you're going to give uh, a jelly jar away to a friend, again, be sure you've got that preservative in it. So it's thickening up really nicely. I'm going to go ahead and 
get some into my uh, four ounce uh, little bottle here. And the way I'm going to do that is I just grab a funnel and pour it right in. Easy peasy. <laughs> and when it's um, still liquid like this, it goes in very, very easily. I'll show you in just a minute here. And um, it will continue to thicken up. Handmade lotions uh, will generally continue to thicken up over a period of um, 24 uh, hours or so, which is kind of nice. Okay. All right. Okay. Get the excess off the edge of the bowl. One thing you could use to stir your lotions up if you're making a good amount is actually a little Pyrex pitcher because you've got a lip on it and that makes things a little bit easier. Um, but I just had this bowl handy so that's what I'm using and there we go. So I've got um, my little jar mm, of rose uh, scented lotion ready to put a label on if I want to and give away as a gift. Um, and again, if it starts to separate, which it probably won't, I've made this recipe several times and it's, it's just really nice. It turns out perfectly. Um, but if it does happen to separate on you, like if you measured something a little wrong, it's okay. You just shake it up and you've got your, your lotion re-emulsified. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and pour the rest of this in a jelly jar. And you know what, if you're looking at making homemade gifts for Christmas this year, this is a really nice option. Just really, really nice. If you want to get very fancy, you could put, um, you know, rose petals or something on the top. Um, you know, or pair this up with a, a salt or sugar scrub, which I'll be doing a tutorial on that too. I'm also going to do tutorials on more lotions for you. So there's what it looks like in this jelly jar. It's just really nice. It's um, going to be a really good lotion. I can tell already. So um, other scents, like if you didn't want to use your rose hydrosol, if you wanted to use plain water, I'm going to give you a couple other scent options that are very, very nice right now. Um, this is uh, Evergreen Dream from Rocky Mountain Oils. I really love this blend. Um, it's uh, piney. Mm, and refreshing, but it's also got a, a hint of sweetness to it. And I thought, actually I was going to use this blend of scents, um, and then I remembered I was using rose hydrosol. But if I was using regular water, by the way, you want to use distilled water when you make your lotions, not tap water. But if I was using regular water, I would have uh, blended that evergreen dream with this frankincense from Rocky Mountain Oils. Um, Plant Therapy also has some really good blends. They have one called Love Vanilla. I just love it, but I'm out of it right now. Um, and then this Heart Chakra blend from Rocky Mountain Oils is also really nice. And I think the three of these would go well together, or you could just blend the frankincense with the Evergreen um, Dream, and that would be really nice too. But I love essential oils because not only are they therapeutic and they enhance your mood and they lift you up, but some of them have some excellent skin um, benefits as well. The ones I used in this blend here, the patchouli and the geranium, both of those are excellent for your skin. So everything I made in that, and I'm an old lady, I'm like 56 years old, so basically um, I, I try to put really good things on my skin. Um, so I've got good essential oils, I've got a really nice rose hydrosol, I've got my calendula infused olive oil, and everything here is excellent for my skin. So anyway, uh, that's it, all right? I will go ahead and um, print out the recipe uh, below or I'll put it in a blog post and link to it for you. And uh, I'd love to see you try making your own handmade lotion. I know you're gonna be successful at it and you're going to fall in love with it. <laughs> so if you have questions or comments, please ask below and because I probably forgot to share something with you but basically that's it all right you guys have a good evening or a good day or wherever you're at have
have. I hope it's awesome. And please subscribe.